They're here, and they're hungry. Piranha. A film that launched more than a few careers, including mine. I'm John Davison, and this is Trailers from Hell. Lost River, take 32. And action. Lost River is lost no more. Yes, friends, you can be part of a modern ecological miracle. Acres and acres of reclaimed land nestled in a scenic mountain valley, site of the newly formed Lost River Lake. 1977, Roger Corman's independent production and distribution company, New World Pictures, was at or near its zenith, and in the door walked Chuck Van Leeuwen, just another pretty face with another dreadful screenplay, a Jaws knockoff entitled Piranha. The task of redeveloping the project fell to Francis Dole, Corman's story editor. Novelists were then in vogue at New World, and Francis had recently read John Sales's Pride of the Bimbos. Sales was living in Santa Barbara, and without even a meet and greet, he knocked off a treatment which Corman deemed too political and too serious. Joe Dante was working at New World, and was obviously considered by Roger as someone unlikely to do something too serious. What emerged was a self-aware comic take on monster movies in general, and Jaws in particular. United Artists put up $400,000 for the non-English speaking territories with the understanding Corman would put up an equal amount. At the last moment, Roger decided to pocket half of his 400 and not spend it on a rubber fish movie. An understandable decision, but I was distraught. Shooting commenced on a compromise budget of 660 with a schedule of 22 days on land and eight in the USC swimming pool. On location in San Marcos, Texas, the water was cold, but the kids were game. Some viewers were shocked that Joe killed so many of the little tykes, but then that was sort of the point. Unable to view dailies on location, Dante's only feedback was the occasional phone call from first-time editor Mark Goldblatt. He assured Dante that the footage wasn't too terrible and something might be possibly made out of it. Now Joe was distraught. Say that word! But the piranhas. What about the piranhas? Piranha became New World's biggest grossing picture, got some good reviews, and spawned a sequel by Jim Cameron, plus a remake for Showtime, and a supposedly forthcoming 3D version. I can hardly wait.